this patient was referred to me for endodontic retreatment of tooth number 15. According to the patient, this root canal was done five to six years ago. Recently, she started to have some symptoms, some pain to chewing, to biting down on the tooth. And then suddenly, she also noticed a swelling right above the tooth. So that prompted her to go see her dentist. And her dentist told her that the root canal, the root canal has gone bad. The root canal has failed and needs to be redone. And patient was referred to us. So take a look here. Crown, of course, build up previous root canal. Look how short these fills are. But take a look here. There is no periapical relucency. No periapical relucency. Tooth, tooth was uh, tender to percussion and palpation. There was a sinus tract. Let me show you. So right here. Okay. So patient says the swelling was much larger and her dentist put her antibiotics and the swelling went down, but I can see the remnant of it right there. Okay, so again, uh, you can see there is no periapical relucency. All right, no periapical relucency really here. Why did this root canal fail then? What is that sinus tract draining? Where is the, where is the periapical relucency? All right, and here comes what I always tell you to never, ever, ever, ever rely on just one angulation PA, just one PA to make your diagnosis. Never, ever, ever, ever do that. And here's why. And here it is. Take a look here. So the dentist who did the root canal perforated right out the out the this debacle. So f was probably looking for this debacle and perforated right out of this debacle and then I think found the this debacle and was kind of confused, had no idea what the egg, what the egg he was doing, didn't even realize maybe maybe he did that he perforated and he actually obturated the perforation with got a perch and sealer so that's why this root canal has failed that's why there is a there is a sinus tract there there was buccal parialis so if you had just relied on one x-ray you would have missed all of this you would have recommended the root canal to be redone just like what her dentist told her, recommended, and that's why the dentist referred her to us. Because he probably or she just relied on one x-ray. But only if he followed me just like you guys and listened to me just like you guys. Pay attention to these stories and take a mental note just like you guys. Then he or she would have taken a couple of more angulation PAs and... Notice that, and well, sometimes you take x rays, but if you don't know how to read them, then you can also miss. So, if you take mod, you can take a hundred x rays. If you don't realize that this is a perforation, then you miss it. But here it is, new needs to be. So, I discuss options with the patient. This tooth has a very guarded to poor prognosis, and um, let the patient know. And, decision was made, she's going to extract it.